S80 Spreader Beam Range MGF's S80 Spreader Beam Range has a capacity for lifts up to 80 tonnes with spans from 2 to 14 metres. With increments of 0.25 metres, the modular equipment is cost effective and the ideal solution for most lifting operations. S80 Spreader Beams consist of a pair of end units and drop links at each end, with modular struts bolted in between to suit the requirements of the lift. The principal use of a spreader beam is to prevent the load being lifted from experiencing compressive forces that would be generated by multi-leg slings at an angle which could crush and damage the item. The spreader beam absorbs this load and provides vertical slings to support the lift about its centre of gravity. Please refer to MGF website or technical guide for the capacities at different spans and chain angles. Assembly Procedure Check the ID plates on each component to ensure the correct lengths are used. Arrange the extensions and end attachments in the correct configuration, ensuring that the longest extensions are central. Refer to the user guide for extension combinations. Check for debris between the flanges before connection to ensure the end plates sit perfectly flush with one another. Bolt the components together using M20 bolts, nuts and washers provided. Tighten all 8 bolts to a minimum torque of 240 Nm. Ensure they remain tight before each lifting operation. Place the drop link inside the jaw of an end attachment, ensuring that it is orientated so the hole with the cheat plate is at the bottom. Insert a suitably rated top sling onto the body of the upper shackle and place the jaw of the top shackle over the end unit. Insert the pin through the holes in the shackle end attachment and drop link, then tighten the pin in place. Repeat this process at the opposite end. Attach the free ends of the top slings to the crane hook. Attach suitably rated lower slings and shackles to the bottom holes on the drop links. Attach them to the load to be lifted. The centre of gravity of the load must be calculated with the beam and vertical slings arranged accordingly to ensure a safe and even lift. Ensure a lifting plan and rams are in place and that the assembled spreader beam and lifting rig is thoroughly checked by a competent person prior to each lifting operation. Critical assembly rules. A maximum of four extensions can be used in any configuration with potential for 0.25 meter increments depending on length. Sling to vertical angle, also known as STV, must be between 30 to 45 degrees. The lower slings cannot be rigged at more than a six degree angle. Position the longest extension in the center of the beam to avoid having a central bolted connection. Refer to the user guide for extension combinations. Safe use warnings. Before operatives use the equipment, they should read and understand these warnings. Do not exceed the stated working load limit for each particular span. A slinger signaller, banksman, should be appointed for the lift with plant exclusion zones. No person should be in the vicinity of the lift and the load should not be suspended over occupied areas. When moving or positioning long extensions or assemblies, use tag lines to control movement. Individual components can be heavy and extreme care must be taken if manual handling. Check user manual for weights. Do not under any circumstances hang loads from the beams or flanges as the spreader is designed for axial compression, not bending. The equipment must be used in accordance with the procedures from Lifting Operations and Lifting Equipment Regulations 1998. Operatives using this system should be suitably trained, competent and have a clear understanding of safe slinging procedures. Individual lifting points are rated to 1000 kg and must not be used to suspend any loads. They are for handling assembled spreader beams only. Pre-lift checks. Prior to lifting a load with a spreader beam, there are several checks which should be done. 
operator must ensure that there is suitable clearance to connect to the drop links and shackles. Ensure that the drop link is free to rotate before use. Inspect the slings prior to each lift. Ensure they are not twisted or tangled, ID tags are present, no broken or worn stitches and there are no holes, tears, cuts or embedded material within the sling. Keep the loaded spreader beam clear of obstacles, any contact could cause beam failure. Ensure the smaller shackles are attached to the bottom of the drop link. Ensure that the top sling lengths are suitable such that the beam does not tilt. Ensure that the centre of gravity of the object being lifted is positioned underneath the master link. Each component needs to be checked prior to each lift. Consult an MGF representative before lifting if you are unsure about any aspect of these rules.